Hi guys, Danny here, and right now I'm in a random test world because I want to talk about the adapters. Where are they? The adapters and the universal extractor. Now, some of you guys have been sending me messages because you found this difficult, so I thought I'd just put out a video to make things easier. Okay, so these two kind of adapters. These are the EU adapter and the MG adapter. The EU adapter obviously is for IC2, their power is called EU, or Billcraft, which uses MJs. Now, Engineer's Toolbox, or the energy used by Engineer's Toolbox machines, was recently changed into Redstone Flux, because Redstone Flux is apparently the easiest power source, uh, sorry, power type to uh, use in the machines. So a lot of different modders have been converting from MJ or EU to Redstone Flux. So Emasher did the same. So now to change from Redstone Flux to EU or MJs, you're going to have to use it, these adapters. Now, like I said, two kinds of adapters. There's the EU adapter and the MJ adapter. I'm not going to be talking about the EU adapter because, well, first of all, I don't have IC2 installed, but it works exactly the same as the MJ adapter. So, you know, I'm just going to be talking about the MJ adapter and just use the same method for the EU adapter. Okay, let me just make this dawn, make it a bit brighter. Okay, so let me just put down one of these adapters. Here's that MG adapter. The MG adapter has two, uh, oh, I don't know what to call it, forms, phases. Basically, this is uh, this four-sided, four little dashy things. This is the input mode. That means if you put something here, the power is going to be drained into the MG adapter. There you go. We can see the energy cell is slowly being drained and the MG adapter is slowly filling up. We also have, if I just right click with the wrench, the output mode. Now if I take an empty cell and put it like so, we can see it's filling up now and the MG adapter is, um, it's, it doesn't have any MGs stored in it anymore. Because the let's run energy cell took all the redstone flux back. So like I said, this is the output and this is the input. And you switch between them using the wrench, like so. All you need to do is right click to change it. So here I have this little setup. Up top I have the input. And down here I have the output. So on the input I'm going to put a cell with a lot of power. And on the output I'm going to put a cell with no power. So now the power, the redstone flux, is going to be drained from this cell. Through the adapter we can see it going up and going down, the uh, amount of power. And out into this energy cell. Now, not only will this work for... Well, okay, yeah, it's it's just taking redstone flux and outputting it as redstone flux. Alternatively, I could also use Billcraft machines here, because this is an MG adapter, so it's going to turn the redstone flux into MGs. But I'm just using another energy cell just to show the, uh, you know, the the travel path from the input to the output. Okay, so what I have here is just the MG adapter, but the power is not draining from the cell because here you go, I have it in the output mode here. So because this face is in the output mode, if I put a cell up there, whoops, wrong cell. If I pull a, if I put a cell up there with you know full power, it's not going to be drained. However, if I change this to input, put a cell there. There you go. The cell's power is slowly being drained. Now, for finally, you know, changing uh, from uh, uh, redstone flux into MGs. We can see that this is a wooden kinesis pipe, and it, had a, it has 0 out of 1500 MJs. And it's in output mode there, this face is output mode, and the pipe is there. So if I put a power cell in the on the input face, like so, we can see that the redstone flux is draining, and we can see the amount of uh, MJs in the wooden kinesis pipe is increasing. And there you go, it's full now. Uh, because of the way the cell works, the power is going to be, you know, draining until you stop it. So I'm just going to break this. And that's that. And what I have over here is a Stirling engine. 
a wooden kinesis pipe connected to the input face of the NG adapter. And what I have over here is a leadstone energy cell. And let me just take an empty one on the output mode. So I do this. And in the Stirling engine, just throw in some coal. We can see that the energy traveled through the pipe into the adapter. And now the leadstone energy cell is filling up. We can see. Look at it, look at it go. And there you go. That's how you use the adapters. Quite simple. You could also do the opposite, basically. Uh, just have the, well, to reverse it, as in to go from uh, Redstone Flux back into MJ's, it's quite simple because all you need to do is put a, a duct, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, give me a second, thermal expansion. Put one of these energy conduits, and if you just put in a machine from Come on. Okay, well, chicken chunks made my ma made my game crash again. It's why I now despise chicken chunks. It's why I deleted it from my uh, Let's Play world. Okay, what was I saying? It was something about cells. Okay. All right, yeah. Um, if you guys watch any of Dyer's videos, you should know that. If you just connect one of these energy conduits directly onto the energy cell, you can run machines, uh, buildcraft machines, uh, directly. I just have to find a buildcraft machine first. As in, you don't have to, you know, add any sort of converter. What can I use? Now, vanilla, uh, vanilla buildcraft is sort of awkward in that way. Okay, uh, quarry is good. I'll just use a quarry for example. Uh, my point being that you don't actually have to uh, use any sort of power converters. There you go. And what do I need to activate this? A lever, I think. It's been a while since I used Billcraft. No? Uh, do I need to supply it with power? Uh, wrong one. Orange is the output. There you go. Uh, so I don't need a lever. Basically, you don't need to have any sort of power converters if you're going from redstone flux to MJ's. All you need to do is have some of these conduits and they'll just do the work for you. In fact, uh, let me just try out something else. He Dyer said you just need to put in a pipe, a conduit. I want to know if you can do this directly. And you can. You don't even need to put in conduits. You can just put in the energy cells. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Let me go to something else. Okay, maybe you do need conduits. Okay, you need conduits. Is that better? Yeah. So to go from uh, Return Flux to MJ's, you don't you don't really need any sort of adapters. You just need to connect it with an energy conduit. Let me just destroy this before things get out of control. Okay, and next we have the Universal Extractor. If we just have this set up here, a tank, just normal Billcraft tanks with some water and some empty tanks over here, a wooden fluid pipe, and just some normal golden fluid pipe. And you can see that the lever is on, but the liquid is not moving across the pipes, obviously, because the wooden pipes require some sort of redstone uh, power. Uh, what was it? Redstone engine. It requires the redstone engine, and only then will it move. However, if we use the universal extractor, you can see I have the wooden fluid pipe there, golden fluid pipe there, and just 510 millib uh, millibuckets of water there. And if I just put the lever there, Give it a redstone signal, and there you go. The universal extractor takes the water out of this tank very slowly, but it does so nonetheless. And the water is transported to this tank over here. We can see the water increasing. And the best part is I can just take away the lever now, and the pipe will still keep extracting the water. There you go. The redstone signal was gone, and the extractor is still putting water out. 
very small amount of water, but it does pull out water nonetheless. And you can also use it to extract energy from machines that don't usually give out uh, energy, or from uh, you know uh, machines or items or blocks that uh, don't give out fluids, like this tank here. And yeah, that is the universal extractor and the adapters from Engineer's Toolbox. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.